Oh, what's good, everyone? How are you doing? Good, good. This is Abel. I'm with my friend here, Smart. Smart. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The most amazing mechanic you ever find, <laughs> man. This man's a genius with cars. So. Good brother also. <laughs> I know, man. This is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. So, um, about a few weeks ago, I was preaching at Mavuno Church, and this was the basic main message that I was preaching on, and it was talking about how Christ sees us and how we see ourselves so i'm going to read from luke chapter 5 uh, verse 27 to 31 and it starts like this and after these things he went out and saw a tax collector named levi sitting at the tax office and he said to him follow me so he left all uh, rose up and followed him then levi gave him a great feast in his own house and there were great number of tax collectors and others who sat down with him and their, and their scribes and Pharisees complained against his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with the tax collectors and sinners? Jesus answered and said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I have come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Now I added 32 um, in, in that. Now, at this point, what is so amazing is that you have Levi, who's a tax collector, Matthew. And what happens is he's sitting there and Jesus just comes and says, follow me. And this guy literally leaves everything behind and decides to follow Jesus. And then out of that, he prays this banquet and his friends come in the presence of Jesus. Now, if you read the, the Amplified Bible, it says many were reclining, which means they were they were sitting in a very relaxed and uh, felt free kind of environment. Now, this wasn't the first time that you see Jesus do this. You find times when he's sitting, they, they accused him and said, why does he sit with prostitutes, tax collectors and sinners? Now, the thing is, was, is it that Jesus didn't recognize that these people were sinners? Is it that Jesus didn't see that this guy was a tax collector? Um, when Jesus was by the well, he showed that he saw what people saw. But he saw beyond it. He saw the woman and all the husbands that she had had and told even the one that you have is not is not your husband. But then he saw what she could be. When Jesus found the woman caught in adultery and everyone was ready to stone her, Jesus saw the situation. They brought the law and they said to him, like, Jesus, shouldn't we stone this person? That she's that's what the law says. And Jesus says, Hey, those who are those who have, you know, who without sin may cast the first stone. There's three different scenarios that uh, where Jesus made us re realize is that the first thing is that Christ sees us beyond our current situation, even the situation that we've made for ourselves. In that man's life, being a tax collector is probably the best of what he could be. But Christ came and showed us an example of what love is. And he says, listen, follow me. I've got something better and greater for you. And with all the money that was sitting there at the table, this man decides to leave it behind and says, you know what, I'm going to follow Jesus. And you see this woman caught in that now with how others see us. Is that in the eyes of everyone else, that woman was an adulterer. But this is what Jesus Christ comes and says, first see yourself. How do you see yourself before you judge others? He places a situation where you, everyone has to have a moment of self-reflection before they even decide to pick up stones. He says, if you have an honest self-reflection on yourself, who are you to lift up a stone about another person? And that's the second thing that Jesus calls. Jesus calls self-reflection that blocks us from being hypocritical. And then this was the best thing about Jesus, is that now when he said, when the woman picks up, uh, when he picks up the woman and says, where are you condemned? She looks around and says, and she doesn't see them. And then now she sees Jesus and says, and if they don't condemn, he says, neither do I condemn you. And that's the beautiful thing about Christ is that he shows us that he sees the best in us. Even when we're at the place when we put ourselves in a dangerous situation or we put ourselves in a position of whereby we we shouldn't even be receiving grace. But he gives us that. So the amazing part about this whole story is is how the Pharisees saw tax collectors the pharisees saw sinners they saw people like you you know who don't deserve to be around jesus but jesus saw friends and that's the beauty about things that jesus was a representation of love 
is that when love, when God, the word of God tells us in, in, in 1 Corinthians 13, it says, love believes uh, all things, is that it's not, is not, if you replace that with Jesus, you'll realize that he was representing what he was asking us to do, that that's what he was living. He was love. In the presence of love, even people who are sinners, even people who are broken, will feel a sense of compassion and they'll be drawn to it. The word of God says it's the grace of God that leads, leads men to repentance. So, um, may, I, I've seen, I've met so many people who uh, have suffered self-defeat. Even in my own life, I've suffered yeah, self-defeat. Yeah, low self-esteem. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And then, but what ends up, what I realize when you really come down to it, a, a lot of that comes from a point of not seeing myself in a good light or allowing how others see me to defeat me you try to dictate exactly. the way you think god sees you exactly 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 so, so the most beautiful thing is when you're when you're in doubt or you think more highly of yourself jesus is the only one that brings the ultimate balance between that is that the person who is down he picks up the person who thinks more highly of themselves he brings them low and he brings them it brings about a balance of sight it brings about a balance where you look at others exactly the way you see yourself. And the same grace that you want is the same grace that you give others. So, hope you guys are blessed as we have been. Blessed. And uh, <laughs> we'll do another Bible reading soon. Yeah. Beyond. God bless you guys. God bless you. Take care.